It is amazing the things people will do nowadays for attention. Attention, y'all. We all love it, right? I mean, we want it, need it, strive for it, and do anything. Shit, some more than others. And oh boy, the extremes some people will go to, whether it's 15 seconds, minutes, or a lifetime. Such is the case that we're going to be talking about today. Meet Giovanna Plowman. Now, if you were hanging on the internet in 2013, you know exactly who I'm talking about right here. But for those who are oblivious, well, let's break it down. Back in January of 2013, a teenage girl turned on her camera and introduced herself as Giovanna Plowman. Filming herself in the bathroom, she tells everyone that the video that she's making is a period video. Okay, I'm Giovanna Plowman and this is a period video. She then proceeds to pull down her pants and pull out a blood-soaked tampon. After showing the camera, holding it up by the string, she sniffs it a little, then she takes a drink of something, and after a couple of hesitations, puts the bloody tampon in her mouth and sucks on it. She then uploads the video to her Facebook, where within 24 hours, it went viral. I mean, thousands of people commented and shared it, earning Giovanna the nickname, Tampon Girl. So for the next three to four months, Giovanna soaks up the variety and attention, both good and bad. Next thing you know, anybody who wanted to be anybody started posting reaction videos of what Giovanna did on YouTube. This was then later followed up by many people going to her social media accounts, leaving rather, uh, let's just say unpleasant comments, all right? It also led to a Twitter beef between her and Ariana Grande, or supposedly. Not only that, but to help boost the cyberbullying argument, a parody website then spread the rumor that Giovanna had committed suicide. But those rumors were laid to rest in April when she uploaded a YouTube video titled Giovanna Plowman's Confession Video in which she tells people that she regrets what she did and calls out all the fake accounts pretending to be her. But the question is basically this. Why did Giovanna do what she did in the first place? And the answer is simple attention you see when you're on the internet and when it comes to the internet people will do some wild interesting and extreme things in order to get that attention unfortunately she got it in the wrong way and it is the kind of attention that never goes away because as she said in her confession video she had to learn this the hard way because even now to this day, you know, I don't know what she's doing right now or if she's still located on social media because there are so many fake accounts pretending to be her, you pretty much don't know who the real one is. But no matter where she goes or what she does right now, because she did this about eight years ago, so that means right now to this day, she'll probably be like, what, 22, 23 years old? And people are still gonna recognize her once they hear her name. I mean, she could, she could go out there and she could do many good deeds. I mean, she could save the whales, cure cancer, save elderly people from a burning building, even give blood. God, <clears throat> uh, you know, bad choice of words right there. But you know where I'm getting at. You know, she can go on and do so many good deeds. But no matter what, she will always be remembered as the girl who ate her bloody tampon. But that's gonna do it for this video right here. This is D Wayne basically saying until next time. We's out. 
but because of this video, everyone assumes of me being this 14 year old attention craving, like teenager who will do anything for likes and for attention, but it's like, I'm not. Like, yeah, I was, but now it's like, honestly, I've grown up so much since January, let alone December, but I'm a completely different person from then to now and it's like people still look at me like I'm pathetic and it's like there's nothing I can really do to change their mind. I'm really sorry to everyone I have hurt and disappointed, myself included, but this experience has taught me a valuable lesson. One which I wish I didn't have to learn but don't do anything you'll regret in the long run because the internet is not something to play around with. I've learned this the hard way and I hope that this video can help some people not make the same mistake that I have. Okay.